Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for November 23rd, 2020. So last week we had a little bearish activity coming into the market, but at the end of the week, really no damage had been done. And this morning we see those bulls back in uh, pushing, and they're just pushing hard this morning, trying to uh, continue to move us up toward that Dow 30,000. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Buckle up and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we see a little bit of bullish action here in the market. Dow futures at this very moment are pointing to a 180 point gap up this morning. We had some more vaccine news come out and there's, of course, hopefulness that by the end of the year, we're going to see uh, some kind of stimulus. Um, in the market and that's um, holding things up. And then we also, I think, just have this institutional, a relentless institutional push to try and reach a Dow 30,000 print. So if we take a look at the Dow, um, where we are right now and just throw a line up there, you can see we really don't have that far to go to maybe make that occur. However, we do wanna recognize the fact that we could see a considerable amount of uh, back and forth on news events. And really the only thing that can probably keep us from going up here is those news events, virus concerns, um, economic news that's starting to show a little bit of evidence of, of slowing down due to the virus concern. But I would expect they're gonna continue to push hard here in this chart to try and get us lifted up closer and closer toward that 30,000. Can they make it happen this week? I don't know, but we'll wanna really kind of keep an eye on that. If we take a look at the technicals of the Dow chart or the diamonds chart, just notice that even though we did pull back and we have kind of this uh, disturbing pattern up here where we've kind of got that failed um, double top up here, when when you really take a look and stand back, we are still overall in a bullish trend here in the market. Um, diamonds remaining in a trend. We're, we may be challenged up here around that 30,000, but at least by Friday, we held on pretty substantially here. We held on to this support level in the chart. And I think that's gonna be a critical area. I mentioned this last week and, and even on Friday that I think we're gonna be fine as long as we hold above this. The concern would be if we were to slip below that area, if we were to see those bears come in and slip down below this area, then we could you know, quickly see a, a fill of that gap. But as of now, we're holding up here well. Now, if we look at our moving averages, our technicals here in that, um, I suspect that we could still be locked into a considerable consolidation. So keep in mind that we've kind of set a pretty wide range here. It'd be really nice to see some of that volatility spill out of this and, and start getting a little bit smaller in its range and, and stop all of this whippy, overnight gaps and junk that we're seeing right now and really calm down a bit and if we did if we if we put in kind of a little lighter consolidation move over here we could let these moving averages kind of catch up to the market and then maybe we've got something to work with here in the chart right now there's considerable danger in jumping in because of these big whippy moves and it's just one of those things where you kind of have to decide is the risk worth um worth those uh, big potential overnight reversals and things. I would say that I still believe that um, uh, experienced, adept um, day traders have the upper hand here, while swing traders uh, are, might find this to be quite challenging um, in the market. And with the holiday approaching, I'm gonna be more of a, um, probably a reduce risk kind of guy. Um, rather than a add new risk kind of guy heading into the holiday. We typically see volumes drop off, but I, I, I do want to mention that there's really nothing typical about this year. So the possibility that volumes don't drop off, we're not going to see probably the um, extreme travel that we normally do during the Thanksgiving holiday. But 
we typically do see those trading floors begin to clear out by about midweek volumes drop off and we end up trading really against um, um, institutional algorithms um, by midweek whether that occurs this week I don't know but watch that closely just look for that volume to contract um, momentum may drop out of this market pretty quickly and that doesn't mean that even though that may occur that doesn't mean we can't can't still have big overnight gaps and reversals so just stay on your toes and be very very careful how you approach this market let's take a look at the spy SPY now technically I think we're in a, a, a stronger pattern here on the SPY because we actually did pull back and fill that big uh, vaccine news gap that we had in here. And we're holding above some key support levels here in the chart. We still have some challenges here to deal with. And as you can see, we had a high and this is a lower high. So technically we have made a lower high in the chart and we're struggling along here. We also have this resistance right through here that we're trying to tackle and deal with or hold on to. So let's keep a close eye on this, but right now the bulls remain in control. And I'd still think that there is that possibility that we could end up in a range bound chop zone here in the chart as we wait for these moving averages to come up. Again, institutions continue to push. They want that headline. If they can get a 30,000 headline, they're gonna raise that, L, that bar again, a fear of missing out. Um, and that usually attracts more and more money to the market. So they want that to occur. But let's watch that pretty closely here, that the chances of just kind of shifting sideways as we absorb this big move um, is also possible. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now NASDAQ has had, there's been this bull bear fight going on here, a little bit of a tug of war. We're trying to decide, are we going to shift over to uh, more value related comp companies, more consumer staples, or are we going to stay with the technicals? Every time we see a surge in, um, in, in worry about coronavirus and uh, the pandemic, we see those techs start to come back up, particularly the big techs trying to hold on to the market. But when we start to see a little bit of, of relief that um, we may get you know, um, some improvement with vaccines or, or those kind of things, we tend to see that rotation uh, pick back up toward the value side or that consumer staple side of the market. So kind of an interesting tug of war going on here. Now, technically, when we look at the chart, if I draw a line across here, you can see, whoops, you can see that we really um, have a um, lower highs in the market here. We do have a downtrend that we have to pay attention to in this chart. Now at the same time, we have this uptrend going on right in here. So we haven't made those new lows, but we've certainly made lower highs. And we're holding above our 50 day moving average. We did fill our gap in here and we're hanging in pretty well. But just keep in mind, if we do continue, if we catch up a little bit on that rotation out of techs, we could see the NASDAQ pulling back a little bit more. Just be aware of this. Now, I don't think we have a real bullish case here in the NASDAQ until we can maybe um, continue this consolidation or rest in here, finish up this wedge, or maybe pop out of that downtrend, prove to hold it as support. And then we may have that bullish edge back here in the NASDAQ. So watch those levels closely. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM really hasn't pretended here. Um, although we had some pullback in other indexes um, last week, notice that IWM held stubbornly strong. And this morning, IWM is gapping up to um, possible new record high here in the market. So we seem to continue to have that rotation going on. Um, and particularly in the financials and energy sector, we seem to really have picked up some energy there and a real shift in sentiment on those um, items. So keep an eye on that. As long as those financials and energy sectors um, hold up, this is looking pretty good here on IWM. Watch that closely. H holding above these all-time 
highs, this nice support um, all last week and now continuing to push higher. Now I will say we are a bit extended. Just notice how far away we are from our 50 day moving average. That may require us to be more of a sideways move in here as we kind of wait for that to catch up. But just kind of keep that in mind, we're staying very bullish here on those small caps. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX continues to be a bit perplexing. When we're pushing out, trying to reach new record highs and still seeing um, uh, uh, the VIX holding above 23, it's just very, very odd. Um, but we continue to hold in here off of this support level. We get just a little bit of good news and the fear drops out and then we get some pandemic news and the fear comes back in. So a little bit of back and forth in here. Once again, I'm going to repeat this, that this little downtrend that we're showing right here in the chart, I don't think, think things would get critical for fear unless we could break over that and hold it as support. If that were to occur, then we could have that real fear sell off in the market. But right now, a lot of volatility, certainly holding above a 23 handle, but um, certainly not that massive um, overwhelming fear that can really cause some problems. So just keep an eye on it. But um, just know that volatility remains pretty high. And then let's take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. Now this indicator gives me the biggest concern right now. And as you can see right here, we are showing um, that we're still up here in this bearish reversal zone, showing that we're very extended here in the market. Now, we had that little bit of pullback last week that opens up a window for some upside move, but right now Dow futures are pointing to a 200 point gap up open. And it's not gonna take a whole lot of effort really, and we're back up here in that rarefied air where we rarely can stay up there very long. So keep that in mind as we push up. And, and the reason I bring that up is, is it, it's really important in this market not to chase stocks that are already extended. If they're already extended in their move, there's a lot of danger if we do eventually shift and get that selling wave to come into the market. So watch that closely. May not occur this week, may not occur until we reach that 30,000, but watch that carefully um, at any time we could get that shift. And of course, we're a very newsy environment right now, so it could happen at any time. Better be prepared and stay on your toes in this market as um, the news cycle continues to kind of whip us around here. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And know that our economic calendar has quite a few things this week that we'll want to be paying attention to. Now, interestingly enough, we don't have a whole lot today. We have a PMI flash um, that can certainly move us around. But what they've done um, is kind of interesting here on the calendar. They have shoved the biggest news reports into Wednesday just before um, we start to see the major slowdown. Um, in the market. So <laughs> we've got a lot going on here on Wednesday. PMI flash today at 945. Kind of keep in mind we've got that consumer sentiment, Case Shiller, um, on Tuesday. But Wednesday, just before we go into shutdown, kind of an interesting thing. We've got durable goods, GDP, international trade, jobless claims, new home sales. They have piled everything into uh, that day could be an interesting volatile day as we've started to see a little bit of evidence of um, just a slowing economy due to um, you know COVID infections and and uh, state lockdowns. Um, keep in mind that Thursday we are closed and that Friday is just a partial day of trading. So keep that in mind. Um, you will typically on Friday see very, very light volumes. You could remember everyone's going to be focused on Black Friday. Very light volumes, partial day of trading, a lot of whipping. You're, um, as a general rule, rule, you're just kind of fighting against institutional algorithms. So be really, really careful on that day. Let's take a look 
at our earnings calendar today. We have short of 25 companies reporting earnings today, but there are a few notables that we'll want to pay attention to. And by the way, um, when you listen to this video, um, if you want to see at any time, if you want to see the full list of notables that I've pulled out, make sure and click that link um, to go back to the morning blog and you'll find it just underneath the title of this video. Just click that link, take you back to the morning blog and you can catch that information and maybe pick up a little bit uh, more information from that morning blog. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. We have um, Allegiant um, um, reporting today. Let's keep a close eye on this. Um, as you know, we've got um, anything of that diagnostic research healthcare center can be pretty darn volatile right now it's trying to push up this morning this candle right here is the pre-market activity trying to push up here this morning trying to break on through so let's keep an eye on that bullish trend is in play here so keep an eye on a you might want to keep an eye on amba amba holding up really really well bullish trend as you can see here in the chart breaking through some resistance levels up in here now I wouldn't want to chase this this is a little bit too star far stretched away from my support level for my taste but any rest or pullback in here could be that opportunity um, that you've been looking for in that chart just like the same here we push up steep we get that resting pullback and we would look for that next opportunity up in here so keep a close eye on that how about DQ uh, DQ um, energy sector has been um, pretty strong uh, excuse me energy sector this is semiconductor um, um, has been um, Pretty, pretty pretty strong in this tech sector um, area here of those semiconductors and holding up quite well and as you can see holding in a nice little controlled pattern here sideways move little downside move here um, underway but an upside trend so we have this little wedging pattern in here want to watch that this morning right now you can see the bears are pushing against that a little bit but um, watch that closely we have that possibility we could break down here or about a half 50 50 chance that we could pop through and break that side move to the upside um, take a look at urban urban is also reporting today um, and it looks like they're pointing to an upside move this morning now once again a lot of these retailers have been holding up well um, quite well surprisingly well in, in my eyes but um, really really strong here in this move breaking through and it looks like we're pushing up this morning so any rest or pullback in here to hold above a support level on that trend sets up an opportunity keep an eye on that and then the last one I'm going to mention this morning WMG um, may not be you know particularly notable you can see this thing has been a whippy all over the place um, um, stock since it's come out um, in public but put it on the list just because um, you know some of these new issues have been pretty feisty here lately so watch that closely it looks like it's looking for a bit of a problem a little gap up this morning and now pushing down so watch that let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that everyone if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos you know the purpose of these videos is not to provide a prediction or hype or anything like that it's really to take a look at the details the technicals the things going on in the market and how we may want to approach that market for the day if you find this to be useful please also do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment and then also please please feel free to share these videos on any of your social platforms let's take a look at a few stocks and a few of them that I've got some some uh, alerts on here that I'm watching kind of closely take a look at boot B um, boot barn really nice tight consolidation here I love these patterns this is my kind of trade where we move up break a resistance and then we just kind of shift slowly over here toward trend and then I look for that next entry for the next move up well notice that boot we've broken through a pretty significant level of resistance here and we're just kind of doing this nice little sideways dance here over toward trend 
So watch that closely. We had a nice bullish move here on Friday. Whether it can push on through today, I'm not sure. I'm going to favor this more and more the closer it gets to trend for a potential upside. But keep an eye on that. Boots looking pretty good. You also want to take a look at um, steel. Anything in steel right now seems to be holding up pretty well. Take a look at US steel. Nice little break above some resistance here, as you can see. And we're holding that with a very nice concise consolidation in here we did pop we keep popping up and down in here a little bit but as this continues to move over toward trend i'm going to favor this more and more for that potential upside move to continue to extend this upside trend so watch that carefully x looking good you might also want to look at uh, cleveland cliffs cleveland cliffs has been holding up really strong here another steel player and as you can see breaking through, I'm going to move this line here now, breaking through some significant levels of resistance in the chart. So any kind of rest or pullback in here uh, where we kind of slide back here toward trend would set up that opportunity. So watch that close on Cleveland. How about YNDX? YNDX, nice little consolidating pattern. Notice what we've done here is we've broken this downtrend rallied up and now we've pulled back in this nice little resting consolidation and you can see i've drawn the trend off of these two higher lows any kind of move over here that just gets closer and closer to that trend holding above this price support i'm going to favor that possible upside move out of here so keep an eye on yndx um, heavy equipment operators have been really really strong and uh, john deere had a little pop on friday pop through and pulled back to my alert here on this chart, but trying to break out. Take a look at this beautiful upside trend here on John Deere, remaining strong. I'd keep this one on my list and watch that pretty closely for that opportunity. You could also go right into Cummins CMI. Cummins holding a nice little upside trend, consolidating over here toward that trend. I might watch that for that potential upside pop at any time. You can see holding onto that support level in here. Just need a little bit of bullishness to kick that over to the upside. You might also uh, want to keep an eye on Caterpillar. Caterpillar, uh, beautiful. Um, consolidation here. Look how tight and concise this consolidation is here in this chart. So as we continue to consolidate this move, let's notice that little bit of a trend right in there. We'd want to wait and see if we could get those um, uh, that bullish move to pop through, but then this could extend on out to uh, more blue sky highs here in Caterpillar. So keep that one on your list. Um, Marvel, Marvel, looking pretty good here. I had an alert on this chart. Um, I'm, I do have a little bit of concern here still because of this um, rather strong resistance level in the chart right here. So I would watch that closely. And even though I placed an alert on this and you can see it was bullish, we ran up and hit that resistance, pulled back, trying to pop back up. I may more favor this after it actually makes that break. But there would be no, I mean, it would be completely justified maybe to pick up a trade in here anticipating that break if you have uh, the risk tolerance for that. Watch that closely, Marvel continuing to hold up. Got to mention Apple here. Apple, um, although it has pulled back a little bit over the last few days, keep an eye on this. This is breaking, um, broke through this wedge. As so we broke through the top side here and we're consolidating that, holding that downtrend break. So I'd be watching this in here for that opportunity at any time where this could start to perk up. May need a little more rest, but keep a close eye on that. Looking pretty good overall. Last one I'm going to cover this morning because I'm way over time here is ICLN. This was brought up to, um, to us by one of the members of the room. ICLN continue, continuing to consolidate up here looking good. Popped on Friday, pulling back. Um, I do think this still has that opportunity to slide in here toward the trend. It's a very common thing that we see anymore when we get these early buy signals away from the trend and then we just pull back or consolidate over into the trend. So watch that closely and wait and see if you can find that opportunity when this wants to start moving on higher. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Once again, I apologize for my voice. I'm speaking just a little bit softly here, still kind of recovering a little bit. Um, 
but doing much, much better. So I want to wish everyone a fantastic day. Thanks for being here this morning. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.